ShotSpotter technology is launching in Durham today after months of delays. The gunfire detection technology has been controversial, sparking debate in the community about its effectiveness and privacy concerns. WRL's Monica Casey is covering this story for us this noon. Monica, how does it all work? Well, the Durham Police Department is in charge of the rollout of this technology. Sensors have been placed on buildings, and they'll notify police if gunshots are detected, even if no 911 call has been made. Now, there have been hurdles to this rollout. It was supposed to begin in September, and it's been pushed for months. Property owners have to give the company permission to place those sensors on buildings, and the Durham Public School Board unanimously voted against any sensors on on schools. Mayor Pro Tem Mark Anthony Middleton has been a proponent of this technology for years. He tells me he believes it will save lives, pointing to other cities who have already deployed it. When you get to an emergency sooner, whether it's a fire, a medical emergency, or someone falling in a swimming pool, the chance of saving life increases. So it would follow that same thing that happened in uh, for Wilmington and, and soon our friends in Fayetteville who are looking at deployment soon. I have no reason to think that it will not happen in Durham. Now, the technology is being deployed in three square miles of Durham. This is a year-long pilot program that will cost the city just under $200,000. ShotSpotter does have the option for cameras, but Durham is not doing that. These will just be sensors placed on buildings to detect those gunshots. Jeff? A year to try it out. All right, Monica Casey, live in Durham for us this noon. Monica, thanks.